Well, we're going to see some of that hammer in just a little bit as he is going to be going up against Tiffany on the Asuri. Maps banned out. What is going to be the ultimate pick? Small man. All right. A lot of room to work with here. I want, I want to see some of the tongue. You want to see some of the tongue? Some <laughs> I do. I want him to action. charge it out, you know, get some of the sound effect rolling. Just hear it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I mean, there's a very real possibility that's going to happen considering... Uh, like we were saying, he is that hammer specialist. Didn't really see a whole lot of his blasters. And unfortunately for him, that's going to be his spawn weapon. Tiffany, kind of keep him on that corner, but he goes incredibly Ooh. high with that turnaround down air. All right. Tiffany finding the better exchanges so far. Bunch of unarmed damage, sword damage. Guitars really just building it up on Hazen. Falling side air from Hazen. Goes high again. Down air. He's getting some oh. decent damage onto Tiffany. Yeah, building it back. Oh, but the recovery going to be enough. Tiffany taking the early stock lead. Not even 40 seconds in. But there's the weapon spot on the right side. Able to use that unarmed side air. And here comes the hammer already throwing out the signatures. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tiffany looking for the dodge. He's in using it, but just going to the other side. Down air. Chase dodges forward, expecting some sort of uh, horizontal movement out of that neutral air. Oh, oh, dunked! Tiffany going up to a two-stock lead with a major punish. One stock left for Hazen on this first stock. Over to the Blasters again. Can he get this stock off of Tiffany? Side signature not going to be the finishing blow. Weapon toss. Ooh, Round pound. Done. That's exactly it. The weapon toss shoving just far enough. Tiffany had nowhere else to dodge to but the bottom corner. Now he's got that hammer in hand. There's that tongue action you were looking for. Onto it's Tiffany. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Whoa, Tiffany Ooh. going for the hard ground pounds early on. Doesn't want to let this match continue. She wants to finish this one quick. Does not want to let too much more tongue action happen. Hazen with the dash dancing on the main stage. Tiffany going to swap over to the Katars. Ooh, reading these jumps yeah. now. Another one. Hit him with another. Let's go. Chasing with a neutral air. Staying aerial. Throws out the neutral signature, but Tiffany gets behind it. Oh my gosh. Tiffany with dodge reads of her own. Give him the claws. Fantastic Qatar reads coming out from Tiffany. Throws out the gravity cancel side heavy. It's going to be the hammer for Hazen. Neutral signature. Oh. Another tongue to finish the stock. Hazen. I love the stocks. this adjustment. He was using the side signature on hammer earlier on in this match but noted that Ooh. Tiffany always jumps out and these tongues have been catching every single time. Oh my goodness, the tongues from Hazen. There's so many, there's so much. What a slippery tongue coming out for the side <laughs> no. heavy. He's off stage. Is Not yet enough recovery from far. Dodges oh. out, there's the ground pound. Tiffany taking game one. But great job from Hazen to get this closer. It looked like Tiffany was going to just run away with that yeah. game one, but once he got into his groove, once he started being able to stick with his hammer and prime the next one, that's when he started to find that momentum. Man, oh man. I didn't expect that one to go as close as it did. No. Tiffany, Tiffany was working on a three-stop. She was looking real strong, but Hazen able to, uh, to take that down to the final stocks. Now we're going to be going to game two, and he knows what he needs to do. More neutral signatures, more tongue. I mean, that's that's the mix-up, right? You do the side signature early on, you read that they're jumping, switch over to the neutral six. Already into the tongues. Goes for a second one, but Tiffany with the punish from behind. Oh my gosh, Tiffany just sweeping all the way across the stage with this Asuri speed and the sword, side lights. Oh, but Hazen only needs a couple hits to tie this up. Goes for the slide charge neutral signature. <gasps> Tiffany with the gravity cancel down light recovery. Not going to be enough to finish off Hazen just yet. Over to the blasters, trying to get some mosquito shots. Pop, pop, got to give it to him. There's the hammer spawn. Tiffany with the punish. Oh, no! Ooh. Read the jump high. The sword was waiting. And that means Hazen uh, is going to be coming in with blasters as his next weapon as he had just picked up that hammer. Down light recovery. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to be expecting Hazen to use these blasters. Oh, wow. Okay. Catches the second yeah. shot to punish the dodge. Going to juggle for a hot minute, but you know he's going to be sticking with that hammer. Tiffany Obvious. with the unarmed plays. And again, that hammer neutral air, just such an amazing anti-air. A lot Ooh, of great anti-airs on the kit. 
Tiffany has has an off stage. He was going for another one. He was trying to fall beneath her, but she instead slaps him away with that recovery. There's another recovery Ooh. from Tiffany. High oh! in the sky. Third one will finish the stock. Tiffany with the lead. Calls out the correct dodge direction. Man, those guitar recoveries are absolutely devastating. And Tiffany using them to great effect to get those stocks off of Hazen. Ooh. Hazen going for a chase dodge neutral signature. Yes. Does it again. Downlight chase dodge neutral signature. More neutral signatures. He's just going to be playing neutral signatures regardless of the weapon. I mean, if Tiffany's going to play kind of that aerial Katars game, that is the answer. Go for your anti-airs. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. He is chasing Tiffany, but Tiffany with the movement avoids oh. those hits. But Hazen... Unfortunately, his hammer drops onto that soft platform. A new one will spawn. Tiffany down low. Oh gravity. my god! Cancel. Neutral heavy. Tiffany with a swift 2-0. Man, oh man. So each of those games went so incredibly close. You saw the stocks just spread wide open and then the gap just...